Got a hot sauce review for y'all. It's a uh, ass kicking wasabi horseradish hot sauce, and uh, this is probably going to uh, make us make funny faces. I'm gonna shake it up first, and then try to figure out how to open this thing. I was trying to figure out why we were laughing like that. That's kind of weird. It was funny. Once you start, you can't stop. Yep. All right. This is going to probably destroy us. It smells more like having arrows than it does really. Yeah. Hi. Well, of course, having arrows. Yeah, oh, yeah. It comes with halves. First. All right. So let's see what we got. It is, ooh. It's My actually. The spoon is so much smaller than yours. Small. Alright. So we're going to see what we got here. Three, two, one. Ding. Ooh wee. You? <coughs> you taste the horseradish in it? Uh, a little bit. It doesn't have that classic wasabi burn quite like you're expecting, but. It has a high burn. It burns like a pepper. And if you can read that, ingredients are small on that thing. It's water, habanero peppers, jalapeno peppers, tomato paste. Wasabi, horseradish, vinegar, salt, fresh garlic, onion powder, xanthan gum, and spices. I taste the horseradish. Yeah. That must have been what I smelt, too. I taste the horseradish. Hey, it's kind of like prepared horseradishes, you know? Man. Pick up. You gotta smell the tomato paste too. It has tomato paste and not yeah. like tomatoes. Like, you know what I mean. Like sauce. It's got a good habanero burn going. It really does. It's not real thick in consistency. Like you'd expect from a wasabi sauce. It'd be kind of pasty, but. Hiccups. Um, not getting that nasally thing I was expecting with wasabi. But I am getting a real good habanero burn. And I'm also get, getting a real good uh, horseradish flavor. Mm -hmm. I mean, the flavor of it's really good. Um. burns and my lips burn. It attacked the back of my throat kind of quick, but it kind of went away quick. You know, the back of the throat, now it's like you said, tongue and lips. lips. Uh, this sauce is uh, the tail end of a, a four pack that we got of ass kicking hot sauce. Um, this is the ask kicking wasabi horseradish with horseradish gas kicking wasabi horseradish hot sauce with habanero and uh, I feel the habanero is pretty good um, it's a warm sauce all that theirs were uh, yeah. were good They're wimpy the original was eh. The Cajun one was real spicy. The roasted garlic one was just. It was hot, but it was real tasty. 
this one I like. They all have the same amount of similar heat, though. They, well, all, they all use habaneros. Yeah, they're all very similar in heat. Um, and you, you can get a hold of uh, these guys at www.asskicking.com or you can call them at 1-800-536-3131 and apparently get a free catalog which would probably be pretty cool. The website's pretty neat. I checked it out. It's a cool website. Uh, they got a pretty neat little thing going over there. But uh, we're at right at the four minute mark and uh, got a good habanero burn going. As far as wasab wasabi goes, it's not really hitting the sinuses real hard. <clears throat> Anything like that, it you do taste horseradish, but I'm more on the tail end, really. Yeah. It's like an aftertaste, it's like like an aftertaste like cocktail sauce would leave, kind of that tang that tangy kind of thing going, but uh. I like it. What'd you see yourself using this on? I mean, mix it, Anything. mix this up with ketchup and use it as a dipping sauce. Mm -hmm. Make a the sauce that you use to do crawfish. Yeah. That a uh, dipping sauce. In, any kind of a dipping sauce this would make a great additive to or singularly as a dipping sauce but uh it's a good sauce um that would be good like to substitute with just than just the horseradish like you did earlier yeah he puts horseradish on sandwiches mixed with avocados and ketchup and mustard and yeah i uh i kind of <laughs> i kind of fart around with that a little bit um my condiments never stay consistent I'm always changing them up and adjusting up screwing with them sometimes it turns out better than others well, uh, we don't like mayonnaise so yeah we use a lot of mustard and hot sauces and uh, we both enjoy wasabi but we don't uh, really run across it too terribly often other than you know take out or you know like Chinese restaurants stuff like that sushi yeah mostly like sushi but uh what else would you use it I don't know and you only see it with sushi I know I only see it with sushi <laughs> um y'all got any ideas on different ways to use was wasabi um other than just like with sushi um I'm sure there's a gazillion of them but uh feel free to let us know cause we both love the stuff but uh Hardly ever see it. When we do see it, we're not really pretty sure that it's really wasabi anyway. Um, because you never, ever notice the wasabi at restaurants is a lot different like, than wasabi at like, you know, buffets and stuff. Anyway, mm -hmm. kind of get off the subject on that a little bit. Um, ass kicking wasabi horse right horseradish hot sauce um like the flavor of it texture of it smooth creamy would mix with anything really well really easily um more of a flavor of horseradish than really wasabi <coughs> um got a good uh habanero burn going to it um about seven and a half minutes in into it and I still got the hiccups so I don't understand why because it's not even burning anymore but my lips are still burning a little bit I feel it on my tongue right here. I feel it on my tongue a little bit but I don't even feel my lips in the back of the throat and everything I don't feel anything you're even sweating I, I know come here I'll just like I'll do the whole bottle alright you do the whole bottle mm. I could yeah I'd hope so there's <laughs> only like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 0.75 ounces or whatever it is but if I saw that in a full size bottle I'd get it as far as the flavor part goes you're screwing it upside down mm. 
anyway so this is the last of a uh, little four pack of ass kicking sauces uh, the original was nah, alright uh, the Cajun was really good the roasted garlic was really good and the uh, ass kicking wasabi horseradish sauce which is what we just did right here um, I really liked as well um, didn't quite have the wasabi burn that I was looking for, but uh, had a great chili What's burn. What's made out of, Ginger? I don't What's know. That? I, I looked up wasabi one one time, and there's like paragraphs and paragraphs right off of what it is and everything, and okay. what's used to pass as it and everything else. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's a this is a good sauce. Um, if you're looking for the nasal burn, it's not really for you, but if you're looking for a good habanero burn with kind of a horseradish flavor to it, this is a this is your salt. It's good stuff. Anyway, um, uh, we're like nine and a half minute mark. I really don't feel much anything. Um, very tip of my tongue, a little tingly. Don't really even feel my lips or anything back of the throat. Anyway, um, we're going to stop it at that, and uh, hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll catch up with you all soon. Bye.